countries, though, reporting the, the biggest increases are Brazil, uh, Colombia, Chile, Peru, Mexico, Haiti, Argentina, Bolivia. Uh, and we're seeing, while the numbers are not exponential in, in some countries, we are seeing uh, a progressive increase in cases on a daily basis. It's across a range of different countries, um, and countries are having to work very, very hard uh, to both understand uh, the, the scale of infection, but also health systems are beginning to come under pressure. There are different responses uh, by different countries uh, in the region. Uh, we see very good examples of countries who are, have an all of government, all of society, inclusive scientific driven approach. And I think we're seeing in other situations uh, 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 an absence uh, and weakness in that. Uh, I think uh, we now absolutely need to focus on supporting particularly Central and, and South, South America in their response. Uh, the DG has said many times, no one is safe until everyone is safe. The complexities of the population structure, the number of people living in urban settings, the urban poor, there are so many factors that drive and, and increase the intensity of transmission. But I would certainly characterize that uh, Central and, and South America in particular have very much become the intense uh, zones of transmission for this virus as we speak. Uh, and I don't believe that we have reached the peak in that transmission. Uh, and at this point, I cannot predict when we will. But what we do need to do is to show solidarity to the countries of Central and South America. Uh, we need to stand with them. We need to provide the support that we can to help them overcome this virus, as we have done collectively for countries in other regions. This is the time to stand together. Uh, and leave no one behind.